The owner of the house, Cora Lorenzo, doesn't charge for her healing oils and will let anyone come into her home. And people do, at all times of the day. She shares her oils with those who come to pray with her, sending some away with small fonts to heal what ails them. A devout Catholic, she's turned her home into a shrine, and she claims that the water she brought back from Lourdes, France had miraculously turned to oil, and that this oil has healing properties. Too. Welcome. Come in, Great. please. Wow. This is amazing. When you walk in the house, it's almost overwhelming with all that care that this person has taken to essentially make a church out of their home. You're overwhelmed by the religious iconography when you walk in here. To think about living with this 24 hours a day uh, is probably daunting to most of us. Even more astounding, a mysterious oil is everywhere. It's in the fonts by the door, seeping down the walls, dripping from the hands and eyes of the statues. This is the one that the oil comes from the finger. Is it there now? Uh -huh. Well, you can see. Yeah, People is. just, whoever comes, they all touch. Oh, yeah. Yes. All these touches you are all soak. I just can't understand how it would be physically possible to, to produce this phenomenon. So when I came in, I saw all the sheen and discoloration around this door jam and on the wall. When Randall pointed out that there's oil all around the door frame and the door, warning bells went off in my head. Because it made me think, here's a part of the house that doesn't have meaning in a religious fashion, and yet there's a lot of oil there. That to me now seems like there's a more natural explanation. Is it all the time? All the time. This started when you brought back water from Lourdes. That's from the right, that's right. So did you bring water from the shrine too? I did, and that's what I've been putting in here. In November 1995, I came home from work and put my, make a sign of the cross. It was dry, nothing in it, it dried up. And I forgot completely. So the following day on going to work, there was something in it. It's like consistency of oil. It was so fragrant, it's beyond expression. Can I dip? Sure, go ahead. I haven't even opened it's since. Oily uh, only oily. Uh, <laughs> what is it? It smells like roses. Hmm? If it's of God, it's gonna be fragrance. I said, Lord, this day is a very special day. It is the feast of the Pentecost. I kind of learned the pattern. It's most on the feast days that the Catholic Church celebrates, the feast days of our Lord Jesus. Right now, I have no idea where the oil is coming from. I was expecting to come in and to see a very obvious source for the oil. So I'm very intrigued by it. It's not really for me, this happening. It's for people. That's what I feel like. I'm just a caretaker to do this. So tomorrow I'm really looking forward to being able to look at different parts of the room without Cora being here so that I can sort of just get in and, and get a sense for where is the oil and where is it not.